Amateur versus PJ Pro. Who's going to win? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm down, back with Paul. We're at Alder Root Golf Club in Warrington. And Paul, you just told me this golf course is what? Pretty narrow, right? Pretty narrow, so a long driver's dream or nightmare. Nightmare, I think. Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna play a couple <laughs> of holes. What are we gonna do, two or three hole match? Don't know, three holes, eh? Yeah, PJ Pro, amateur. I always have a saying, a good amateur beats a bad pro. I'm not saying you're a bad pro. I am. I'm not saying I'm a good amateur. So we're gonna play three holes and we're gonna show you where the long drive grid is for the upcoming UK Long Drive Championships, which is held here at Alder Root Golf Club. So if you didn't notice it, it's on July 16 and 17, come down. Is it free to watch? Free entry. Free entry. VIP hospitality, if you're interested. So there you go. We'll leave all the details underneath so you guys can check it out anyway. But let's start on the first hole, 191 yard, par three. Let's go. What have you got? A bit late, Ian. It's a little bouncy. Straight on it. Oh, lovely. Mm. It's on the front edge. Be all right. Right, nice back. Nice shot to start, Paul. I have had to ask Paul to borrow me a golf ball as I've only got slazingers in my golf bag at the moment. I'm going to hit 9 iron, I think. Try and sit straight so I don't have to zoom on an angle. That'll be the t I'll tell you where it's going. Bit toe -y, but it's straight. Go. Oh. Looks good. It looks quite good to me. It looks like it should be about 10 foot. And my putting's you happy with better. that or what? My putting's getting better, holding that. How do you want it, Paul? Leave it in for me. Leave it in. What you got? 35, 40 footer? Dunno, I've not brought my laser with me. <laughs> He's walking. Oh, oh. Ho, ho, that's not dead either. Turn it out. Please. Did you think you had that or were you just being cheeky? No, I was just um, trying to look for the look, camera. Look for the camera, yeah. Yeah. What's that wand you've got? I shouldn't have said that because these guys haven't seen it yet. I'll have to bleep that bit out. Oh. You're making me work for this one. <clears throat> you give me that. No, I see that. <laughs> I'm not that bad. It's not great, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> right, par for me. Got this for the half. Oh, he walks it in. Nicely done. It gives the impression of confidence when you walk the putts in. So you pros still can put when you turn pro then, yeah? Yeah. Not just a Mars bar seller? Yeah, uh, professional Mars bar seller. <laughs> I've diversified recently into Snickers and Twix. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at. We're going straight down here. And I have no idea where the green is, but I'm guessing it's around the corner to the right. Yeah. <clears throat> the 150's kind of like just past the apex of the corner. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was rubbish. Just leaked it into the right trees there. Red stakes, so it's it should get a probably findable, but it won't be appealing. No. All right, he's opened the door. Going two iron. We'll start on them trees there and try and slide one in, I think. What do you say it is to them red stakes on the corner? Like 260. Okay. I think mine caught the top of the canopy, so it was like quite far down. Yeah. Oh, so bad. Well out. That'd be fine. I prefer yours than mine. And that's saying something. Great strike. I'm not entirely sure what I'm even putting my glove on for here. Right, we found it but it's not great. 
there's like the tiniest gap. It's the stupidest shot ever. So I'm just going to punt it out. Well, out. Well, out there, to be fair. I found Bear, your pinnacle, Bry. Bear Grylls appearing from the jungle. He looks like he's in a good spot here, but if you just look here, this is definitely the trees. Two, so, four, three, not bad guess, Scott, to be fair. There. He's got like 235. How far have you got, Bry? Is, is it running, yeah? Yeah, it's fast. How far have you got? 243. You call 235, it's not a bad guess. So I've hit that two iron like what? 415, 243, uh, not very far. 180. <laughs> yeah, one of the shortest two irons I've ever hit. I'm going to hit six iron here, I'm going to try and draw it off. Started on Obviously that bunker. you guys won't know, but when he was in the boat, he was telling me about how well he struck it. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Let's resume that one. Oh, that is mega, that. Sit down. Mm. That's ran through the green. I think it has. That was killed. That was good, that. All right, so he's on the third shot. He's had to chip out from the trees. Good shot, to be fair. 152, not a bad guess. called 151, it's 152. Right, then. <clears throat> it's a shame you didn't want that shot on this hole. Mm. I think you could be in the Bondi yet, so we'll be all right. How's that run through there? You see how hard it is on the ground. I think it's just a little pitching wedge is the job. Little <clears throat> pitching wedge. Fine. Yeah, it's okay. I just want a little bit short of the flag at all. Spun hard, that. Yeah. Not bad. Mm. All right, so Paul's just spun back. Fringe. Mine's running through somehow. How was that run through there? And look at this. Big drop. It's ain't an easy up and down, this one. I'm going to hit a putter. Putter? Yeah. You're a man or a mouse? Ma I ain't getting... It. Oh, I can't even get a stance. I was rather look. hoping that you'd use your wedge there, actually. Yeah, I'd, I'd try and land it into there, and it'd go in a bunker. Well, the hole's here, but there's like a pretty steep kind of drop off just down this side. This is a solid shot, this. Go on. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh, no way! You must be kidding me. Look at that strike. Beautiful. Is that dead? Yeah, I suppose. Par for me, easy par. That's the scabbiest par I think I've ever seen. Just laid it up off the tee perfectly, do you know what I mean? Is this for the half then? The aggressive shot. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll be generous, I'll give you the shot you wanted. I don't want my shot. So you, you can see the hole. I'd rather lose with dignity. So you can see in the hole? Yeah. How much of Bry? One up, one hole to go. I don't know what it's going to be. Is it tight, Paul? No, this one's a fun one. Greener ball, I'm guessing then. Greener ball, yeah. That's what we want. Right, third hole, third and final hole of this match. And like I said, it's 307 yards. You can play off the adult tees on this one if you want. Play off the adult tees on this one. And there's the green down there. So we're playing like what? 303? Yeah, about that. Is it into a bit of a breeze though? Uh, it seems to be a bit swirly. Yeah. Let's get a little firewood and see what we get. There's a bunker kind of like left and right. Yeah. Try and fly to firewood.
Ooh. Oh dear. That's quite far off the toe. Doesn't want that one. In them trees on the left. Well, I'm going two iron again. The last hole I hit at 180 yards. See if you can do better this See time. See if we can put it on the green this time. So just on that tree in the middle and draw it off a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. That's the idea. Oh, it's a big toe, but it's drawn again. If that skids on the first bounce. Skid. There's a high probability that will reach. It, it doesn't half like run when it gets down there. It's not bad, is it, for a bad strike? We'll take it. Right, guys, we're just driving down third hole, final hole, I'm one up. I'm in the better position here. Uh, just want to say as well, Paul, you've got two Trackman studios here, haven't you? Two, indeed. Yeah, so if you haven't been down here, guys, get down here, get fitted. They've got loads of gear. I was warming up, waiting for Paul earlier on, and he had a seven wood in the bag, so I just started hitting it, and it just, who would think of hitting Did the seven? Did you help yourself to a beer as well? I didn't, but I might do after all. Yeah, I think get, we need a beer when we get back. It's yeah. getting warm here, so a cheeky beer might uh, be on the cards as well, especially after I win this, so. Should be up by Paul's ball now. I think mine's on the other fairway. So I think it's the best line in, see. So uh, local best... knowledge. I um, have no idea where yours going, man. So this is what he's got him zooming out. He's going to come over these but, trees. And there's the green. I've just gone over the back, so. Let's see what it's he's nice. got. That. Sorry for the wobbly hand of holding the camera. Glorious. Oh, I've missed it. I've missed it. Great it's shot. It's a good shot, but I didn't see it land because my camera skills are rubbish. Probably got about a 25 foot. Not bad at all. Guys, I've bought a new toy. I'm going to put it up in a minute after this match. I'm going to show you the, gri the grid that we're going to be competing on in the long drive event. So if you didn't know, there's going to be a long drive event here, UK long drive championships run by European long drive games. The two that I do compete on that I go away to Germany. 16th and 17th of July here at Older Root Golf Club in Warrington. Come down, support me, support everyone else here. Help grow the sport of long drive. You won't be disappointed. Like Paul said, VIP treatment, hospitality tents, everything you need is going to be here. Loud music, big bombs. Get yourself down here, watch the event, and uh, yeah, support us on. Good chill out, mate. Thank you. Exactly, them approximately trees, 50 to 75 yards. Not bad at all. I mean, I would have really a full. Right, we got the putter out again. Bry with his dirty cheating tactics. I'd normally use a pitching wedge to be fair, but. Oh, I've got, that's why I wouldn't use a putter. I well out from. Bad that. All right, you've got this. Basically, not lose. If it misses, he loses. Oh, he's in lip again. He's fuming. Look at that. I'm lucky. I right, suppose so Paul has been very unlucky not to go up and down there. Pulls it in a second time. Yes. So we've got two put for the win. Yeah, it looks that way. I'm pretty I feel confident. Like I've been robbed though. Yeah, you've been unlucky there. It's nothing like three for three lip outs. Well played. Told you the putter's getting better. Well played, sir. <clears throat> Congratulations. Thank you very much. We should play four. We're going to play four. The, the just driving said, hole. Of what the is course. it? The tee's really far back or something? Aye, you want to see the tee shot. Okay, so You'll I'm see in a, a bonus hole in this match. I took the win. Told you, a good amateur always beats a decent pro. Is I won't he call still him a bad pro because he is a decent pro. I'm just playing quite good at the moment. So yeah, bonus hole coming up. And then we're going to get the drone up. And we're going to show you the long drive grid. All right, so this is the bonus hole Paul wanted to play. Look, at, I wonder, you've got to walk through Do a bit of jungle walk to down get there? to as I said, all the Root Golf Club, Warrington guys, golf course is in good condition, very good condition to be fair. It is a nine hole golf course, but you do have separate tees, don't you, Paul? 
Yeah. For the second time round, and they do move the pins around as well in competition. So we're gonna, I, so as it says, the fourth tee. Look at this. We'll walk through a bit of a jungle here. Nice little lake there. Feels like a, a nature documentary. We need David Attenborough to narrate this, yeah. really. I'm gonna put some David Attenborough narrating on this. And then it opens up. 396, Brian. So it's 396. The, ball, the golf course is playing very hard. It's kind of a little downwind, I think, this one, but that's what you've got. So this is what we're looking at. Pretty much straight down. One noodle. And then, how narrow is that for a tee shot, yeah? And the pin, straight down there. That's pretty good. Little fade. I've just seen it land there. Still going, look at that. like three and a half, that maybe. It runs a little when it gets down there. Yeah. Not bad. Come on, Bry. See if we can hit a good one. I feel like I, you could say you have a fade. I want to start it in the trees, but I'm probably going to hit the tree in her, so. A fade or like a straight straight pull isn't bad either. Yeah, just, well, it just has to start straight. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad, that. Excellent strike, Bry. Good thing Paul hit a good one. Hmm. Didn't see it land. No, I don't think we'll find that one landing. Ah, you've not put your X-ray lens on. I can't see through all the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Just drove up. I hit a snap hook off the tee. We found it here. And luckily, this is the grid we're going to be competing on. So, it's we're teeing off from... Where are we teeing off from? Down there, Paul? Yeah, so, like, where the canopy is on the front of the clubhouse yeah. there. We're, like... The trees that are just to the left of it, yeah. that's going to be like parallel to the starting okay. point. Yeah, and this is much. where, this, so this is landing zone here. Yeah, so the gap in the trees there, to, to carry it past them is 296. Yeah. To get past those, then it's going to be like cut all the way down. And then the red uh, marker on the back there, that's like 450. So that's 450, so we're not going to get there. But look at this, okay, guys. Normally, a long drive grid, is, we average 60 yards. I'm going to stand in line with this tree. This is getting cut back ever so slightly, you said, yeah? Yeah, yeah slightly, yeah. So, call it here. It's 40 yards. So from where my feet is. 42 yards. So, that tree precise. there. The grid is... 42 yards. Paul, 42 yards. Tell it's a home. It's hard grade. enough to hit a 60-yard 60, a 60 grid, let alone a 42-yard grid. But I'm going to put a footage up of the drone now showing you exactly where we're going to be teeing off from, the landing zone, and we'll show you the grid anyway. And uh, as I've said, July 16 and 17, long drive comp here, Old Root Golf Club in Warrington. Be there. Be there. Be there. Hospitality tent, VIP, whatever you want, and it's free. Free. It's free. That's the main thing. So come support me, come support long drive, and come support Old Root Golf Club as well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Amateur wins the match. Somehow. Luckily, we played, well, we didn't even play the next one. We were going to do it. was just a bonus tee off, really. And uh, I hit it in the crap and Paul hit a good one. So I got away with that Kept one, that didn't one I? Quiet, I got yeah. away with that one. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take that one. But guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell so every time I do upload, Let's you guys are notified beer. straight away. Let's go and have a beer. Let's go and have a beer. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.